it really played out even worse than we feared, unfortunately. I mean, this damage um, is equivalent to what you would think of in those, you know, EF4 and EF5 type tornadoes that hit more in Greensburg, even Joplin. The density of population, not as large as some of those communities, but this town for Western Kentucky, we're talking nearly 20,000, and it is sheer devastation. I want to show you what we're dealing with. Um, it's really difficult to get around, as you can imagine. First off, we're dealing with school buses. Come take a look inside, and we'll see if we can, uh, you know, look into how you know how massive these things weigh this was just one i mean i'm talking hundreds of vehicles that either were impounded by the force of the wind semis that were blown over you come around here we're going to kind of watch our steps kind of avoid anything that might be sharper or, or dangerous you can see the bottom uh, of the bus and this is mayfield guys this is mayfield kentucky you really get the feel for what the scene looks like widespread in fact about four blocks down the way that's downtown Mayfield we'll work our way through there as we continue on through the morning and afternoon you probably have saw the courthouse before and after images but this just really sets the stage I want to continue to walk and kind of just show you pretty much every tree either stripped bare or you know stripped completely of its branches either taken out uprooted or stripped completely of its branches and where we actually started this was a fire rescue it must have been just one of those portable uh, fire stations here um, in Mayfield Kentucky and all that's left really is the actual fire rescue tanker truck the whole building is unrecognizable in fact I didn't even realize we were at a fire station they're like do you know you're at a fire station because that's the fire truck it really shows the tell I want to point you in this direction just to show you some of the just to show you some of the other damage I mean every building every structure is a, a total loss and this coming any time of the year is tragic let alone two weeks till Christmas it's two weeks to Christmas I mean, just think of what these folks are going through. And even driving up from Memphis, we, it's about a three-hour drive. Um, and within about 40 miles south of here, right when we crossed over in the Kentucky, you could start seeing the path of this record-setting tornado. Now, the official observations will take days when they assess the whole line and see if it was one continuous tornado or if it dropped down for several hundred miles, you know, several miles, and then stop for a little bit and pick back up but if this did in fact travel over 200 to 250 miles in one continuous stretch that would be the longest in recorded history